Well, you guys got a quick video here on how to set up your own broadband speed test server. Now this is open speed test. You can download it uh, from the uh, windows Microsoft store. And uh, basically all you need to do is get this installed on your system and you'll be able to set up your own speed test server. I'll leave the link in the video description, but download the version that you want. It does work for windows, Mac and Linux. So you can download this and get it installed on your PC. It's pretty straightforward and you'll be able to test your network speed for all your devices on your local network. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we can do this. So first off, open up the Microsoft Store. You can get it from here as well. And what you need to do is type in Open Speed Test and you should start seeing it come up on the screen. There we go, Open Speed Test Server. Click on this app here. And this will open up the page where you can download it. So it says free and click on get. So hit the get button and you'll be able to install it on your PC. This app is not compatible with Windows 10 S mode. So just make sure that you have not using that version of Windows. Other than that, all the other versions of Windows it is compatible with. And you can see here, you can uh, test all your speeds here. So let's go ahead and click on next. No thanks here. I'm not going to be signing in. So we can skip this part and up the top, you should see install. Just click on install and this will install it on the PC. Again, it's going to try to ask you to sign in. Just click on the red cross here. You don't need to sign in and it will download it and then it will start to install. So once the download has completed, a launch button will appear and you can just click on the launch here. So let's go ahead and click launch and this will launch the application. And you should see Open Speed Test Server version 2.1 appear in case it's a, a newer version uh, later on down the line. Just click on uh, the next button. So you need to allow this through your firewall. So just choose allow through your firewall. You can see private networks here as well. So we're going to allow this through uh, because it needs to connect to the Open Speed Test Server, which is a speed test server, which if they've got at their end. So we need to allow it to go through to connect uh, to that. So they're basically hosting the server and we're just going to be using it and connecting to it on our local network. So as you can see here, we do have an IP address here. The server is running. You can stop the server at any time and you can uninstall it whenever you like once you're finished, if you wish. So you we need to do here is copy this and put this into your browser up the top and paste in the uh, path here, which is your IP address and push enter. And you should see this popping up here. All you need to do now is click on the stop button and this will start the open speed test. This will give you uh, your download speed and your upload speed, your ping and your jitter on here. Let me know in the comments section below what sort of speed you're getting on your local network. I'll be interested to see uh, your speed tests results down in the comments section. So once that's done, it will do the upload speed. So this is the next upload speed and we'll just let this run. And this gives you a good idea of what your network um, status is like across your whole network, whether you've got any sort of high ping issues or any sort of jitter issues or anything like that. You'll see it popping up on the screen here. You can save this as a screenshot or you can take a snippet of it, depending on what you want to do here. But that's basically that application. That's uh, now the speed test done. And let me just quickly show you what it's like on another machine, because I can go on another machine this is on the actual uh, server based machine that I've got it installed onto. So I'm just going to nip over to the other machine and do a speed test on there so we can see what sort of results we get. Now, remember, because we're hosting this on our other machine, we can do this to any device on our local network and we can get some sort of idea of a speed test on those uh, machines. So let me head over to the other machine and I'm going to type in that uh, address there, which is HTTP colon forward slash forward slash 192.168.0.62 uh, colon 3000. So I'm going to go up the top here and we're going to type this out quickly. So let me just uh, put the HTTP here colon forward slash forward slash 192.168 and then we can see here dot zero dot 62 and then colon 3000 and we can push enter here and this will then give us our speed results. So here we are on a completely different machine and you'll see we should get different results on this one here across our network. There we go.
And you can see the download is 98.9. It sort of goes up and down. And we get a little fluctuation there and it says 98.7, the final result. And now we can check the upload and you can see here we're getting uh, 99.8 or something like that. And it's flickering up and down. And I'm pretty sure that's going to just give us a rough idea of what we're getting. There we got 99.0 and the ping is two milliseconds and the jitter was zero. So pretty good results. And that is pretty much it. So when you want to stop your server, all you need to do is click on the stop server and this will stop the service from running and you can uninstall and remove it if you wish. So it's entirely up to you. So I'm just going to quickly stop this and there you go. It's now stopped and you can leave it like that if you wish. But if you do want to uninstall the application, let me just quickly show you so you know how to uninstall it. So quickly close this program off. We're going to go to start and then settings inside settings. We're going to go to apps. Inside here, you can now look for the open speed test. So let's go ahead and try to find it on here. This should be listed inside here. Uh, let's see, there it is. Open speed test uh, server. It's up here. So click on this and it should give you the uninstall options. Just click on uninstall and uninstall that from your computer once you're finished with it. And that's it. That's pretty much it. So don't forget, if you enjoy these sort of videos, and then give the video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below what sort of speed test you're getting across your network. I'd be interested to read those comments. And I shall see you again for another video real soon. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I really appreciate the support. And I'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.